endurance and let endurance have its perfect results so that you may be made perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Y'all, without suffering, we will lack. We will God, uh, You have a garden. You have trees. God knows it takes a certain amount of rain, a certain amount of sunshine for these trees to grow. If the, if the tree get too much water, it drowns. If the tree get too much sun, not enough water, it dies. A human, a Christian, a minister, a lay person, they need a certain amount of sunshine and a certain amount of rain to be able to produce the harvest that God has for them to produce. Amen. There's no other way. All right. John Piper calls it, he calls it the, 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 the fruits of affliction. Fruit. You look through the Bible, look at anybody who was fruitful. They had affliction. So James says, consider it joy. Consider it joy. Why? Because you're about to get closer to where you're supposed to be. Okay. You see, for some people, for some people, depression ain't gonna work. It gotta be money issues for their whole life. For some people, money issues ain't gonna work. It gotta be a spouse that just can't get right. Mm. But for you to be able to do what you've been called to do, some of us, if we've lost parents, if we've had drug addicted parents, if we if we've had heartbreak that we can't even explain, if, if, if we've been molested, if if we've been uh, incarcerated, if we had drug addicted problems, those things, watch this, it's going to trip people out. It was not just approved and allowed by God, it was appointed to be a tool used by God mm, okay. to get us where we need to be. 